Are you ready to change the world? <laughs> okay. <laughs> In 1984, John Lilly came into our factory in East LA, and he was, you know, he's the inventor, and he has a scientific way of looking at things. Tables were full of parts. He looked, looked around uh, at the tables, Looking at the tank parts, we had a new, revised, totally different tank. And he came up to us. And he said, you guys are going to turn a million people onto floating. And I said, thousands, OK. But million? How do you expect us to do that? He said. <laughs> open centers where you can have people come and float and you can sell tanks. Now most of you are already working on this, I believe. You're already starting to have lots of people floating, but I don't know how many of you are selling tanks. And so we have some things to talk about in that way. Albert came to float at our center uh, in Beverly Hills, and he was doing some work with Glenn in design. And he went into the tank, and we had, the way our tanks were arranged, we had um, the shower and the tank direct one from the other. You went into the tank direct into the shower. <coughs> the showers had these 12 um, hand-painted tiles. And could you talk for a minute while I get my throat back? And the, uh, the sh shower had clear plastic uh, curtains so that when you were in the room, you could see the tiles. And Albert went in and floated. And when he came out, he looked funny. He looked like he had something to say. And he came up to me and he said, you know what? Everything was fine about the float. I liked it. It was interesting. I floated. But I was embarrassed being in that. You could see me in the shower. He had locked the door to the room, and the door was closed. But he was embarrassed being in the shower. And I thought, how could that be? You know, I don't, I'm not like that, so how could anyone else be? But it, <laughs> but it occurred to me that there are a lot of things that we didn't know about the people who came to float. And so we didn't know what kind of habits they had that made it uncomfortable for them to float in a place that they had never been before. So we came to kind of discover that some people don't like to float in centers. It's too public for them. Other people have used the water. It's too far to drive, things like that. However, they would like to have tanks. So that's one possibility. And then when we had um, uh, Michael, Crichton. Michael Crichton came, you remember what happened? He came in. <laughs> Six foot nine inches tall. He was really tall. And he, <laughs> what he told us was that he had writer's block, and that's why he came to float. And he knew that these were uh, um, boxes that you could get in where um, you, it was distraction-free. Nothing could come and disturb you. And so he was going to use the tank to see how come he had writer's block. He never had that before. And so he started floating in our center. After about six times, he came and said, what did he tell us? He said, 
I was, I was paid for material that I had not written. They pay, paid me up front. I was always paid before, afterwards. So now my, my consciousness said, well, you're finished. You don't need to do it. <laughs> As, as soon as he discovered the reason for his block, it evaporated, it disappeared. And then he said, is there a way I could get a tank around here? I mean, you know, can I have one of these? And we, I said, oh, I'm so sorry, of course, we, we were selling tanks, but it never occurred to us that he'd want to have his own. And so we sold him a tank and we went and we set it up in his house. And then he was somebody who wanted to float at home because he writes in the middle of the night, and the next day, in early morning, and he doesn't want to go anywhere. When he's in the mood to write, he just wants to sit down and get in his own tank and do the writing. When the press found out that he had bought a tank from Samadhi Tank Company, the public re relations went sky high. The word of mouth was all over the place, and it was an incredible event for us that Michael Crichton became a Samadhi tank owner. So we found out that owners who float a lot, float more than most people coming to centers, they're, they're getting such incredible results from it that they're the best word of mouth. Thank you. And then we found out that Floaters come from only a small distance away, like maybe within an hour, to be repeat floaters. So we had a princess show up at our, uh, in our center then, and she was a beautiful young woman, and she came from the United Arab Emirates. And she got into the tank, and she came out with that glow that Justin was talking about. She was just totally radiant. And she said, I had a vision. My country is governed by uh, 17 counselors. And what I saw was 17 tanks in a circle, and the ministers all got in, and they floated for an hour. And then they got out, and they had their meeting. And it was the best meeting that was ever held and they came to a peaceful resolution of the problem at hand. And I thought that this was just the best thing that could have ever happened for my country. I'd like one tank. I thought we c I could order 17. I can't. I was sorry about that, too. <laughs> <But> <laughs> so, so, to summarize? So, so we found out that even though our repeat customers come within a certain uh, area, that if we're willing to ha let people float so that they can buy them, then they can come from a much larger, so our marketing range is much larger. So we've uh, talked about how the range can be much larger if you sell tanks, that owners will give you word of mouth and possibly even PR, and that some people don't want to uh, float in centers. Some people want to float at home, either because they want to float every day, or because they don't want to travel, or they want to be able to do it at a moment's notice. They don't have space? Yeah, right. there are many reasons. Okay. So now Glenn is going to talk to us about what well, we... We're, what, oh. we're coming out with a totally new revised version of the tank that John looked at on those tables. And it's a personal, inexpensive personal tank. And you will find out about it and find out how you can help turn on millions to floating right after this break. We're going to do that in the question and answer period. 
So those of you who wish to stay for the question and answer period, we will cover what the tank is and how you can turn on millions. <laughs> Thank you.